Well, yeah, we, I mean, we've got a week with our team here. We kept a lot of guys. I mean, we had <clears throat> seven exhibition games uh, for a reason, um, was to give a lot of guys a lot of games. Um, you know, and some of our guys have only played a game. Um, and I know there's other NHL teams that don't play a ton of their guys, but we're still real young, um, and we want to make sure guys are up to, you know, some kind of speed. Um, so we have three extra forwards and two extra D, so we'll rotate that, that group through throughout these next three games. Yeah, for sure. I, I think, you know, the, the biggest thing is coming into camp, you always want to be careful um, with a young guy. I mean, Pence played 12 games last year, and you don't want to put him in a situation, um, you know, where if he doesn't come out going and you got to bring him down and then you're putting him back together. So it's always easier to move a guy up than it is move him down, a young kid. Uh, he continues to be arguably, you know, the, one of the best or best players in camp day in, day out from the rookie camp. Um, so certainly he's warranted this. Yeah, goaltending's been good throughout uh, throughout these exhibitions. But in saying that, um, you know, we haven't, uh, you know, played, uh, you know, a real NHL-laden lineup. Um, you know, we're real shooters and real. So, it, I mean, it, hopefully we'll get a little more of that this week, um, you know, in Montreal and in Toronto <clears throat> to really, you know, get up to speed. There's a big difference between Austin Matthews and, you know, other players shooting at you. Um, but our goalies have done the work. Zach Burke's got them ready, and, and they've made the saves they've had to make. I did. I did in his conditioning, um, his strength, his confidence, um, and now he needs to continue to build on that. And unfortunately, he couldn't play a full schedule down there of, of 70 games last year um, where he'll be put in all situations where he'll continue to grow. He's got a real good brain. Um, it looks like we got ourselves a real good pick, but hey, uh, it's hard and it takes a while for defensemen uh, to make themselves NHL regulars. And certainly, we'd never put a young guy in a spot where you know, we want him in and out, so he's going to play every night down there. Just reps. I mean, just just playing. I mean, he he arguably. I mean, if you just took it from the way it is, he could still be here for sure. Um, but is that going to make him the best player at 23, 24, 25? We don't believe so. Um, so he's going to go down there and play tons and continue to do what he does. Um, but he's close, and he's knocking on the door, and he easily could be sitting here today. Just sharp, uh, you know, not giving the puck away. Uh, having the puck a lot longer in the ozone, uh, looking to see what kind of chemistry the lines have. We can still a lot of juggling that could happen there, um, but just being sharp, you know, shorter shifts. Um, you know, in exhibition, you look at the shift length; it's significantly longer than it would be in the regular season. Guys are staying out there, and and that's not real. So we want to get our shift length down, uh, get some of our pairings and special teams. It's really, you know, win, lose, or draw. It's about getting your team. You know, getting that uh, accustomed to ice time and who's playing in what situations, kind of get the bench rolling, I guess. What's Connor Brown meant to your team when he was looking kind of top this year and uh, his work ethic? Connor's come full circle as a player. I mean, he's led every team he's ever played on in scoring, other than maybe the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, and, you know, with a team in Toronto that had a lot of talent, he was forced to just be a checker and penalty kill, no power play time. Um, and he just continued to get better at that. Whatever you ask him to do, he does. Uh, now he's got enough confidence to make plays. He knows the way the game's got to be played. He understands the NHL game. Um, you know, he's just, you know, all of a sudden he's, <laughs> it's hard to believe I've coached him every game he's played in the NHL, but all of a sudden he's an older guy uh, that's been around and understands and just a calm presence really, doesn't panic, comes to work every day. If it doesn't go good, he goes back to work the next day and uh, he realizes there's 82 games and it's not all done in one day. Yeah, you know what? I haven't looked at it. I have heard from some people that it's interesting and obviously looking for things. But to watch at night, I think I've touched up every Netflix uh, series there is. But uh, it's, it's pretty hard. Once hockey gets back on TV, that kind of takes up most of the time. Yeah, I mean, there, there's that. I mean, snapping it to him on the wing. But uh, the biggest thing is offensive draws 
Pinto being a right shot, you know, if we got a team on an icing, he could take those draws. We've got Norris on the left, we've got Whitey on the right, so it, it gives us a little different look. Uh, if you know, if we're looking to get away from, say, another team centerman that's really going hot, uh, we've got a you know a little bit different tandem. Uh, what he brings down the middle, though, more than right or left, is is speed and power down the middle of the ice. I mean, I. You don't want to say Bergeron, but I mean, he looks like that, you know, when he was younger, that kind of guy that's in the middle of the ice that can knock down bobbling pucks, who's a responsible player, can play on power play penalty kill. So it looks like we've got a real good player. But again, you know, you don't want to put too much pressure. He's still a young guy. He's played 12 games in the National Hockey League, and you don't want to jam him with too much too soon. Well, for sure, he can work through experience. I mean, there was a stretch where he was the 10th forward all the time in Toronto, and then, you know, he would get different uh, times where he'd get called to play on the top line, the second line, third line. He was kind of that spare guy unless someone was hurt. And I remember Tyler Bozak talking to him a lot, um, you know, about certain things in the NHL, and I'm sure he now is becoming that guy that um, can talk to young guys. But he does it in a calming way, and he's really good to young guys. He understands the ups and downs. I mean, he played, I don't know, two, two and a half years in the minors. I mean, he's earned everything he's got here. He's, you know, he was a later round pick. He wasn't handed anything. He's had to continue to earn it, and, and uh, credit to him. Um, he's made himself a real good NHL player. Uh, no, you know what? I mean, certainly, do I want him here? Yeah, I'm mean, sitting up here lying and saying no. I mean, he's... Uh, you know, he's a huge part of our team. But, uh, you know, throughout the entire process, I don't uh, involve myself in any of that, uh, the numbers and all these things. I'll, I, and I purposely, you know, don't want to. Um, I want to coach the kids, and that's not my job. And I, I want to stay in my lane. And I think that's one of the biggest things is as a coach, you just stay in your lane and you take care of your job and they'll take care of theirs. And uh, all I can do is coach the players that are here. So when he gets here um, – you know, certainly we'll be happy, but at the same time, if he's not here, I just got to coach the team that's in front of me. Uh, you know what? He's a pro. I mean, he's skating every day where he's at, and uh, it, certainly it's not NHL pace, but, um, you know, the, it's tough to say. I mean, a lot of guys miss training camp and don't have great years, and then there's other guys that, that can hop right back in. So we don't know. Um, you know, he's a young guy. I think he'll catch up to speed pretty quick. I think he's been real good. I think undercover, uh, Victor Mete is a really good defender, uh, rush defender, uh, penalty killing. Uh, he gets to lose pucks really quick. Um, you know, he can break you out in your zone with his feet. Um, you know, I, I think you know, expect him to be the guy running the power play. That And I don't see that. I, th I see him as a – and he could, you know, be on the power play, but – I see him as a really good rush defender and a guy that can get to loose pucks real quick. Uh, he can outsmart people, um, you know, and, and like I said, when he's playing really well, he's breaking us out with his feet. He's jumping in as the offside D and, and creating holes. And, um, you know, I think he came here last year and had a real good finish, and, and we hope that he, you know, hits that stride. <laughs>